Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, part two of my uh, computer case video. Um, this time around we are going to be doing um, some cleaning. So what I picked up was a can of air. Uh, you can pick up pretty much any hardware store. Uh, this one I got at Walmart actually. Uh, any can of air will do. Uh, doesn't matter the brand, it's all just air. So um, you don't. Um, a lot of people will use vacuums and uh, things like that to kind of vacuum out the computer. You can do that using the small attachment. Um, that's only great for getting into the bigger areas, more so on the bottom here that kind of collects the dust bunnies, things like that. Uh, most of the time you don't want to use the computer, um, I'm sorry, use the vacuum to really get into all these tight areas. Um, you have a you know, real high chance of knocking something loose, breaking something, so for all these tight areas you really want to um, try to use the can of air. Alright, so we'll get started here. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is uh, my video card. As you can see, it's the XFX 4850. Kind of looks like a brick. Uh, there's your six pin connector. And in the back here, it looks just like every other video card, I guess. Up in the top here, you can see that you can, um, I guess you could technically four-way uh, crossfire these. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. I haven't done that yet. But. but if you can see here, you can see that it's really dirty on, inside this here. So uh, we'll get started and we'll start cleaning that out. All right. So the first thing you want to do is when you're using can of air, you don't want to um, angle it. Um, you want to try to keep it as straight on as possible. Um, if you do angle it, um, some of the CO2 actually can start freezing some of your parts. So you really want to stay away from that. So um, what you really want to do is you want to You want to try to keep the fan from moving as much as possible. So you want to kind of give it short controlled um, bursts. You don't want to keep, you know, keep a, a steady stream of this cold air on there. It could damage some components. So that's a little bit better now. And I'll give it a more thorough uh, cleaning in a little bit. But I just want to show you just the gist of, uh, of uh, what to do. Um, on the back side here, <clears throat> you can kind of see it's, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can. You can see some of the dust here, things like that. So, it's, I mean, this stuff comes off really easy. of the back. It doesn't take much uh, to really to really clean the things up. All right, let's see. It's actually not bad in here. Um, I do uh, maintain the inside of this case pretty well all the time. Um, you know, you, you pay a lot of money for all these components. The last thing you want to do is have your computer break down because of you know, overheating due to dust and, you know, just stupid things. The fans uh, can slow down, they can break, they have dust buildup on them. Um, you know, it throws the fan balance off and they will break. So you want to, you know, you're spending all this money on these parts. It, all it takes is just a few minutes of your time. Open up the case. I mean, you don't have to lay it down on anything. You can leave it standing up, wherever it is, just take the side off. Give it a quick dusting. Vacuum out any dust bunnies in there, and you're all set. You know, it doesn't take much time, and it uh, prolongs the life of your computer. Um, another thing you want to watch for is your heat sink. Um, in between all the fins, collects a lot of dust um, because the, the the fan is sucking in, so it's going, whoosh, and it's blowing out across and out the back. Well, while it's doing that, it's also sucking up whatever dust is circulating throughout your case. And a lot of that dust does not make it 
all the way through. It actually stops and builds up right behind your fan. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip I'm going to unclip my fan. As you can see, it's not that bad. Set that down. And it's not too bad. Um, a little bit of dust, but not too bad. Like I said, nice short controlled burst. You don't want to get too crazy because you will start, some of the CO2 will start freezing some of your components and uh, it's the last thing you want to have happen. Um, also, you want to make sure that you're not bumping into things. Uh, you know, you got to be extremely careful when you're doing this. So, uh, you know. um, so what's going to happen is... Uh, <clears throat> Um, after you're uh, all set, done and cleaning, if you did happen to take anything out, even if you didn't take anything out, you always want to make sure, go back through, make sure your RAM is still seated properly, make sure your sound card, your video card is still all in its place. Um, a lot of people, uh, they, they, they clean it out or they open up the thing, open up the side, they start showing it off, they bump something without even realizing it, go to turn on the computer and boom, nothing works. Save yourself the headache, take a few more seconds, and just re-push down all your memory. Make sure everything is, you know, as it should be. So, um, let's see, anything else? Um, also, the front, um, the Cooler Master case, uh, just in case you guys are wondering, uh, the front here does come off to help make cleaning a little bit easier. Um, if you stick your fingers out from underneath here, it just pops right off. And you have full access to the grate here, and you have full access to behind it. <clears throat> the side moldings here, they do come off. Uh, there's a couple of screws um, that take them off. So if you, were, if you really wanted to get in there and clean that, you could. I'll just give this the grating all a quick spray. Clean some of this off. So, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I think I pretty much got everything. Um, it's kind of hard to get in there to into that fan. Um, you can take that off. The screws are right in the front grating here. You got one, two, three, four. So all you gotta do is pull off this front case, which is, like I said, extremely easy. It goes back on just as easy. It just snaps right into place. And that's all there is to it. So, um, this is the, um, pretty much the easiest way to clean your computer case. Can of air, short controlled bursts on everything. Make sure you're holding the can upright. You don't want to have it tilted. And, uh, you know, have fun doing it. Alright guys, well, that concludes my video for cleaning out your computer case. Um, I hope you, uh, hope you found it helpful. And uh, next video, I will probably be doing Batman Arkham Asylum. So, uh, you know, subscribe and, um, you know, I'll uh, try to have fun with you guys. Alright. Talk to you later.